Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be showcasing over 15 awesome Minecraft mods for different versions of the game. These mods range from new monsters, weapons, and buildings that you can add to your game. If you enjoy the video, please show your support by hitting the like and subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's get into the video. If you have ever thought about adding photos or videos to Minecraft, then this mod is made just for you. This mod makes it very easy for you to add your favorite pictures to enhance the look and feel of the game. Apart from regular pictures, you can also add GIFs, which will make everything more vibrant and lively. Although Minecraft already has decorative images, they are not even close to good quality so this would be a much better choice. In order to add a GIF to Minecraft, you will need to have a link to the GIF. You can find these links online or upload the GIFs to websites yourself. If you use large social networking sites, the process will generally be quicker. Once you have the link, you can select the appropriate image size and then reload to add the GIF to Minecraft. Using YouTube to play videos in Minecraft is an easy process. All you need to do is use the YouTube video link, ensuring that it adheres to a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. This will ensure that the sound is realistic Welcome and suitable for playing with friends. In this video, I'll be sharing with you 10 amazing animated mods for Minecraft because this video isn't mod rank. Today, a villager asked me for some picture frames to display his family's pictures, and I happily agreed. He is a wonderful person, and it brings me joy to see how happy he is to be able to see his family's pictures every day. I will visit him to demonstrate how to use it and witness his happiness. Bruh. Let's talk about the Epic Fight ACG add-in pack. It is an add-in for Epic Fight, which is currently the most popular combat mod for Minecraft. The add-in pack adds a variety of new weapons, animations, and combat skills to Minecraft. The swords included in this mod have the same lighting effect as the swords in Star Wars. At the start, we will possess the ability to wield dual swords simultaneously. As you learn and employ this technique, you will notice more detailed animations and increased mobility. Moreover, it will also enhance your efficiency significantly. Additionally, there are two other unique skills available, one of which has the power to demolish the surrounding air. The second skill you can learn is using a single sword. You can use this sword to stab forward, and one technique will make it seem like you are gliding on the ground while the other technique will resemble the finishing blows seen in movies. You possess several weapons in this mod, including a sword, a scythe, and a gun that shoots fireballs. However, the most impressive weapon is a bow with incredible animations. It even has a special skill that allows you to shoot arrows with fireworks, which can deal significant damage. If you're a fan of RTS games, Mind Fortress is the perfect mod for you. With Mind Fortress, you'll get to experience playing an RTS game within the world of Minecraft. Your objective is to lead five starting soldiers to gather resources, build your army, and take on tough opponents. The NPCs in Mind Fortress have the same abilities as players in Minecraft, including building houses and mining minerals. In fact, they even build faster than I do. Each soldier can only perform one profession so it is important to balance the different professions to ensure that none are missed. This is especially crucial for soldiers who are involved in food production. This village kept me engaged for two hours as I built houses and provided sufficient work to sustain the village. If you find the available houses for villagers very boring, you can enter the editing area to create your own desired architecture. Any version you build can be saved and used in the real world. If you want to enhance your first-person perspective in Minecraft like VR, the first-person model mod can help you out. With this mod, you will be able to see your body parts in the game, just like in real life. Moreover, the mod also includes animations that are not present in the regular Minecraft gameplay. For instance, when you swap items on both sides of the character's hands, you can observe realistic hand movement animations. If you wear armor, you can see how it fits on your body. Finally, 
The mod makes it easier to look at the map or compass while playing the game. The fifth mod is Ryan's Zombies. This mod adds zombies to Minecraft with strange appearances, looking like mutant creatures or a combination of strange creatures and zombies. Their attack method is similar to that of regular zombies, but they have greater strength and health. When you defeat them, you may receive rare items in Minecraft such as golden apples, netherite, or slime blocks. The next mod is Taxa's Castle Pillager. At first sight, it may seem like a small castle owned by village bandits in Minecraft. However, appearances can be deceiving as this castle has a huge underground structure that resembles a maze. The underground area contains multiple sections and seems to have been built by Minecraft players themselves. Despite its exterior, exploring this castle won't be a cakewalk. You can visit various places such as the farm for growing food, the seed storage room, the amethyst mining area, the slime farming and mining area, the smithy area, the resting place, and the restaurant. Normally, you protect villagers from pillagers in Minecraft. However, today let's switch things up and become pillagers ourselves. The first step is to obtain an ominous banner, which you should then place on your head. This will grant you a ravager mount that you can ride to attack the village. Once you reach the village, a raid will begin. The villagers won't just sit idly by and be attacked. They will grab their swords and fight back. Although their attacks may not be very powerful, don't underestimate them. Instead, despise them. Iron Golem is our most formidable foe and can easily defeat the Ravager to protect our village. However, we are not dealing with a regular Ravager here as this is the super version. It can shoot bomb-shaped projectiles that cause more damage than a block of TNT, making looting much easier. The eighth mod is the Yes Steve model, which enables you to dress up as your favorite female or male characters from movies and games. Though the default version already has numerous characters and a simple design, I have added more beautiful characters with more elaborate appearances and impressive animations that are perfect for anime or game enthusiasts who love attractive characters. These female characters come with diverse dancing and posing animations that are distinct from the default versions. This means you will have an exciting gaming experience without getting bored. Furthermore, you have the option to create your own characters or search on popular websites where many people post models that they have created themselves. With this freedom of choice, you can select the ones that best suit your preferences. Next up is the add-in for Timeless and Classics Guns, which currently has the most beautiful gun mod animations available. The Less Raisins Append pack will add numerous types of guns, each with its own unique animation for you to choose from. Having tried them all, I can confidently say they are all great. One thing that I feel is missing is the addition of knives and animations for them. Let's now take a look at the gun animations created within Minecraft. The next Minecraft mod is called Tectonic. It's an updated mod that enhances the terrain in Minecraft. The mod completely revamps the terrain, giving it a new and improved look. The plain areas will be flatter while the hilly areas will be higher and more realistic. Even though Mojang has updated the terrain in version 1.18, many people still find it unsatisfactory. So if you're one of them, give this mod a try.
The 11th mod is called Wakes. It is designed to enhance Minecraft with the effects seen in Mojang's official animation videos. With this mod installed, waves will appear at the oars of boats in the game. To fully appreciate the enhanced experience, it is recommended to combine wakes with the bare bones resource pack. This will give you the most authentic Minecraft trailer-like look. If you are looking for a better pet companion in Minecraft, then Player Companions is a great mod to try. It offers a variety of pet friends to choose from, unlike the vanilla Minecraft where you only have wolves. You can now choose from different types of pets such as raptor, pig, samurai, corgi, or snail. Each type has its own food that can be crafted using lead and gold. Once you tame them, you can give them armor and swords, which will increase their defense and attack stats. This will help you a lot and reduce the chances of your pets dying. The 13th mod is called Medieval Craft. It's a mod that focuses on medieval architecture, allowing you to explore and discover various structures such as citadels and other buildings from that era. However, be cautious when exploring these castles as they are guarded by numerous soldiers. If you are not strong enough, it's best to stay away from them as they will attack you. The experience of being bombarded with arrows by hundreds of soldiers is definitely not pleasant. However, if you are interested, I can provide you with some tips on how to kill them more easily. The 14th mod is Frostyful, which is a great addition to your mod pack. It is an updated version of the Snowy Biome mod. With this mod, you can access outfits that help you navigate through the cold weather of Snowy Biome with ease. Additionally, the mod includes ice skates that work similarly to real-life ice skates. However, the most noteworthy feature is the ice castle, which is guarded by archery monsters that use freezing arrows. Once you defeat these monsters, you will face the ice mage, who holds a staff that you must win by defeating him. Due to the power of these monsters, this mod is more suitable for mod hacks. Look at my body full of arrows and see how harsh it is. The magician staff needs to be strengthened because it is not very powerful. The next mod is Ludicrous. This is a mod suggested by viewers on my channel and is also his mod. I promised him that I would feature his mod in my videos. I can assure you that Ludicrous mod is worth checking out. The mod includes various swords that possess unique abilities such as shooting fireballs, summoning snow golems, and launching arrows. In today's video, I have introduced all the mods that I wanted to share with you. If you have any specific content requests, please leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please show your support by like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support, and I hope to see you again in the next videos.